What's up guys, Nate here and this is your 3G Thursday. Today, we open up the question of wet listed versus non-wet listed when it comes to 3G's product. It is a regular question that comes across my desk and something that yes, we wish we could wet list everything, but not everything is wet listable. So of course, we have to work around standards, overall design, accessibility, and to make sure this works for your application at the end of the day. Now I have to say, all of our fixtures are damp rated. So whether it's interior or exterior, underneath the bulkhead, we are rated for that application. But wet listed fixtures is certainly another topic. A regular question when it comes to wet listing is linear product. Whether it's by one inch through four inch, these are all damp rated products. They are not wet listed. Is there hopes for 3G to do a wet listed linear? Mm, not at this time. Why? Because I want to focus on the mass of the job and not the four fixtures just on the exterior of the building. But let's turn to our fixed family of downlights. Whether well, it's my DL33, my DL40, DL45, this product in the fixed aperture can certainly be wet listed for your application. I make it sound so easy to achieve the wet listed status, but it's really not. Whether squares or rounds, we want to make sure this product is completely sealed with our standard sill light lens. People have been asking for a wet listed Madison for ages now. But I hate to break it to you, because it is an open aperture, water can be sprayed up and get into the electrical, which does not really work in our favor, does it? So as bad as I just simply want to put a lens in there and say now it's wet listed, it doesn't work that way. But remember, our Madison fixture is damp rated. So interior, exterior, damp rated under your canopy. Well, there you have it. A little bit of insight when it comes to our wet listed downlights. But now it's that time for me. I need to grab my downlights and hit the showers. Have a great week.